I, quickly before we go, I know one of the issues that's really important for me is guns. And a couple of your tweets this weekend, Eric, good guy with a gun at the movie shoots woman by mistake and suspect in Renton Theater shooting said he had a gun because he feared mass shootings. I mean... <laughs> And, and you know what movie he was at? Yes, the Benghazi yes. movie. Yes, yeah. of course. Movie. <laughs> I mean, if you read the reports, this guy is clearly mentally unstable. Uh, I think he had some ongoing drug issues. He takes a gun to go see the Benghazi movie because he's afraid of mass shootings, and he shoots some poor woman sitting in front of him. I mean, and he was intoxicated, is, right? Yeah. And this is this is guns in America, <sighs> and I and I, and and just by happenstance, I think I tweeted three or four separate incidents of yep. just like mindless gun accidents or mindless and look every republican candidate does not think guns are a problem every republican pa candidate is against background checks even though 80 90 percent of americans 80 percent of nra uh, members support it um and again i go back to that obama interview today he said something he said that you know the, you know the republican party is outside of the mainstream he, he said they've become they become something, quote, unrecognizable. And I tweeted, I said, he, in one sentence, he captures what the, what the campaign press has been refusing to acknowledge for the last seven months, which is just the radical turn of the Republican Party, specifically in terms of the campaign. I think it's been radicalized for the yeah. last five years. Uh, but it is outside the mainstream, and guns is a perfect instance. But boy, you read the campaign repress, you press, you read the updates every day, you do not get a sense that this Republican Party is outside the mainstream. They just will not touch that topic. Yeah.